All right, everyone. It is me, Jensen Chan, and uh, doing my videos kind of late today because uh, I actually went to bed pretty, uh, pretty late, like around 2 a.m. Because I was, oh my god, I I really hate this raid sometimes in Bit Heroes. So, um, what should I call it? Uh, yeah, I was I was basically like playing Bit Heroes because like right now there's like a little event and now I'm farming it like crazy so I could like you know upgrade my stuff really fast. And um, uh, what should I call it? So uh, at the same time I was listening to Jesse Lee Peterson. So, uh, I don't know, I almost have listened to it for, like, many, many hours. So, I mean, unfortunately, uh, I kind of now forgot everything that I thought about. Because uh, I was thinking about talking about it here. So, I don't know, what did I learn? All right, because uh, he had a lot of stuff, now I forgot. But basically, anger, pride, and worry are basically all the same thing-ish. That's what I got from it. It's all evil, it's all the devil, and there's no such thing as righteous anger. If you're angry, it doesn't matter if it's justified or not. That's just bad, and uh, that's that that's Satan, you know, taking control of you, and that's no good. Uh, and that's also why judgment's not not good either. And of course, you have to overcome it by forgiving your mom and your dad. In my case, I'm still trying to figure out how to do it because I know that as soon as I do that, I know they're just going to start becoming controlling because that's what they are. But then if I say, "Yeah, I forgive you for being controlling," then they're going to interpret it as very uh angry and i'm just gonna have to leave the uh, i'm just gonna have to leave thanksgiving uh you know a lot earlier so i'm trying to figure out if there's like some sort of way i can get the forgiveness in without my parents feeling like they're getting attacked but then still able to say exactly what i need to say so it's a pretty difficult task and on top of there's a language barrier so i have to use my google translate so i also have to kind of hope that dad is going to kind of understand and tell mom correctly what to uh, what to do. Now, considering that my dad constantly gets yelled at by my mom, I'm pretty sure he won't, you know, you know, uh, fuck up my words too much, right? Because then if he does that, then he'll that, that's my mom that's going to yell at him. So he's he's got an incentive to 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 not exaggerate what I say. Uh, so there's that. Um, oh yeah. So the interesting thing was uh, doubting and worrying actually is the equivalent of anger or something like that that i found very surprising so you just stop doing that you know that's a special i would have been helpful to know that years ago but i've, I've kind of figured that out on my own now it's like yeah things do seem to work out better huh it's like huh the way i interpret it was fear doubt worry kind of just crimps your iq and it just like screws up your life so it makes you a lot it's, it makes it a lot harder for you to figure out, take control, and stay calm. Go, okay, this situation sucks, uh, sucks dick, but how do we uh, get out of it, right? You need to be able to think clearly. And then, yeah, you know, and biblically, uh, I just, according to Jesse, it's like, yeah, you know, that's Satan. He's like, yeah, that does make sense, because Satan wants you to worry, because then you won't be able to explore your full potential. And that's what he wants. He wants you to continue to suffer so that you can just become like Satan. And, you know, that's what Satan wants, and you can't give him that. Right, so then there's also then I mean, fortunately, he expand on this too. But he also said God does not let you fail. Like there's no such thing as failure in God's eyes. However, He will let you suffer. So because uh, when you suffer, then you call out to God for help. Because that's basically what I did. You know, some people I'm talking to are I'm trying to point them in that direction. But you know, I'm not I'm not like being overly pushy about it. I just keep saying that, and then it's like because because like. Yeah, I guess we all go through it. It's like, well, that sounds stupid. I'll just do it my way because like, I'm smart. I can do whatever, right? You know, I, you know, I was X Y Z role, or I, you know, made these programs, or you know, blah 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 blah, or I made this much money. You know, why do I need to? Why do I need God for? It's like, eh. <laughs> I mean, that that that's the whole point, right? You know, God gave you gifts, but He wants to give, but He wants more than that. You know, that's pretty simple. So, uh, yeah. So, anyway, um, I don't know. I don't even feel like reading the news today because uh, basically, uh, you know, it's uh, Sunday. On top of that, the cryptocurrency markets are very busy just uh, dumping their coins. Like, across the board, everything's going down. So, uh, before we do that, I want to check on something. Tampa, uh, smoking, complaints, Florida. Because I did realize there is one... Uh, there is one problem with me moving, and that is 
Boomers tend to love the smoke cigarettes, and it's very annoying. It's actually it actually makes me cough and like gives me pro health problems. I don't like that. Uh, Clean Indoor Act in two thousand three, the legislature passed a voter approved amendment to prohibit smoking workplaces that I previously allowed because I bet Florida law prohibits pub, uh, smoking in most public and private businesses. Uh, but this doesn't help me because people are just going to smoke inside their house or right outside their porch, and the secondhand smoke seeps into my uh thing i have a similar problem here and then like you know when i used to live with my mom and dad you know though here in this case uh mine's easier because all i have to do is just cover up the uh thing also it's kind of it's kind of weird actually you know um because the guy because the guy who smokes is on my left but it's isolated so my windows are on the right of that and there's like a pretty nice big physical like wall back barrier because of the way the building's designed you know so um Let's see, where can you smoke? Uh, our standalone ball is really like the smoking man in the UK and most of Europe. Okay, so smoking man in Florida beaches. Uh, in public spaces, including beaches and parts of Florida, Pat Bill will include vaping pens as well. Uh, and prevention program. Now, I have to admit, I'm pretty surprised. Like, a uh, tobacco company used to own the Republicans. Apparently, they don't anymore. Uh, this is October 31st, 2019. This is actually, oh wow, this is very new. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't, uh, vaping should not really be bad. It's, it's not that bad. I mean, technically it could have tobacco and stuff, but the vape, the secondhand vapor from it is, is actually clean. Tampa secondhand smoke complaints. Cause it, cause uh, New York city has like the highest one in the, in America. So. Before no, kind of new just required. Even though at least one corner has ruled that it's a nuisance. Um, yeah, here we go. You have a few on your left, and you can see the tire for danger. Really, industry. Okay, well, see, the problem is, I that's after I've suffered industry, industries. Uh, do smokers have rights? Uh. Yeah, that's for the workplace. This is in my home. Um, let's see. It says it is a nuisance. Are your floor tied by by saying I'm smoking a part of condo? Learn your options here. Um, uh, hello, noisy neighbors. Saying I'm supposed to become a common tenant complaint. Whether you have respiratory health effects, blah blah, blah or, 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 or such, you can try to live in your suite. I don't know how you live in the floor of farming in the can restrict or prohibit. Um, okay, regardless of where you call your home, you have some options for dealing with second so hand cigarette smoke. Uh, okay, I don't care about marijuana, that's fine for me. Um, this is dealing, yeah, it looks like I'm still kind of screwed. Um, new sense. Okay, if I say, you may want to consider bringing a lawsuit against the rental property owner. You might be able to claim something because a nuisance or disruption right to acquire during the rent. Even though at least one court rule that saying is a nuisance, uh, keep in mind that these cases will likely be difficult to win without laws supporting your side. Yeah, this one's going to be really hard. The only one, it would, it definitely is a nuisance, but I mean, it's between, because I'm going to have a house, and then the guy is probably going to be a house owner too, so. Uh. I don't even care. Well, I mean, I don't even care about the money. I just want him to stop. But yeah, I'll just sue him for five grand, just just so I can force him to stop fucking smoking. There are a lot of these because of Daniel Relish. You could consult a lawyer for making a decision due to whatever it is worth the trouble. Well, in my case, it would be worth the trouble because I don't because if I have kids, I don't want them breathing that shit in either, right? So yeah, and I'm just gonna, yeah. But I mean, the thing is, it's floor, right? It's a retirement area, so I imagine everyone else is probably gonna be rich too. So I mean, we're gonna be in court for a long time. But I mean, at least maybe I'll be able to secure an injunction, right? So, uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, I'm going to have to look into that a little more. Um, and in fact, uh, maybe I want to actually look uh, <coughs> look to see if there's like a kind of housing I can get that's like uh, a little more isolated. Or it has more distance, right? Because the distance, when I was living with my mom and dad, it was basically like, you know, like those two family houses, right? I was surrounded by them. Like, my neighbor was literally, like, two buildings away, and I could still smell it. It was, like, ridiculous. You know, it's just ridiculous. 
Uh, so any, but anyway, if I were president, I would just ban tobacco. I would just ban cigarettes altogether. I wouldn't give a shit, and then just force everybody to use uh, electronic cigarettes. You know. So anyway, uh, Bitcoin clown searches for last week are still pegged at thirteen, so not a whole lot here. So uh, unless we find anything newsworthy, it just looks like everyone, all, all the rich people are just t profit taking. They're just dumping all cryptos across the board, where it's here or on cracks or everywhere. So. Um, I mean, unfortunately, I was expecting things to go up, but I guess rich people have decided, you know what, let's just make a lot of money and just sell everything. Well, I mean, they're, they're, so there goes the neighborhood. Bitcoin Davos is at 62.7%. That's also why I tell you never to day trade, right? Because even I get it wrong, right? Just like it is today, right? And that's fine. Like, I don't care, right? Because we mine cryptocurrency, so we don't care if it goes up or down. Though we obviously prefer that it would go up so we can make more money off of the mining. Right, but then, like, let's see, as you'll see here, Bitcoin Cash and SV. What if you were getting those greed gambling glands? Right, like, even I was getting susceptible to it, but I know from past experience, and of course, me being stronger with God, I know you know what, this is the kind of temptation that's probably very dangerous for my wallet. Well, guess what happened? Right now, you're down 9.36 to 12 and a half percent. You know, is your emotions trying to get out of control just a little bit? All right. I mean, the only way you could interpret this as a good thing is, well, you could buy a little more at a cheaper price and then wait for it to go back up because it'll probably it probably will. But you know, for me, I just don't like to be in that kind of uh, gambling state. Uh, Twenty-four hour volume is a little under. Uh, well, it's actually one sixty-nine point six billion, so there's still a lot of trade activity, and most of it's obviously sell uh, selling pressure. Bitcoin's at 9900 bucks or a little bit more. Um, it does look like everything does want to go down more. Um, Litecoin's down to 7428 which is down 6.54%. Lady Co no, Doggy Coin is at 342.3 million market cap. Wow, this is actually a pretty big dump today. So, I don't know. Could it be a correction, right? That would have to I mean, that would have to be a lot. Uh, that would have to be a lot. All right, because in order for it to technically be a correction, everything's got to drop like 30, 40 percent. It has to do it within a few days. That's because uh, they're extreme uh, and they're very quick, uh, especially cryptocurrency. So if we say Bitcoin was 10,400 ish, then a correction would probably be around the seven, six thousand dollar range, which is pretty extreme. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure rich people are even willing to do something like that. But yeah, for some reason, everyone is just dumping. Like, just look at how big this red is. Uh, I imagine Steam's probably going to get hit hard, too. Yeah, 22.41 cents is down 16.27%. Uh, well, this is close, but I'm pretty sure tomorrow's going to be a bloodbath for GPTC. This is also another reason why I don't like using stocks uh, as correlation, because it's always going to be falling behind. <clears throat> so GMC coins already been back up and running now for almost a day. Now it's at three to four. <clears throat> Trade volume's okay, but more importantly, uh, people are able to uh, buy and sell and withdraw and deposit. So that's what we care about. Uh, so this downward trend is also affecting just 404 and all the exotics very well. Like nobody wants anything. They just want to dump all the crypto. So if I didn't know any better... Rich people are exiting cryptocurrency altogether, and they want, like, I guess, fiat or something else. So uh, we're now seeing the effects of that. So, uh, well, I mean, pullbacks happen. So uh, it really sucks, but you just have to, you know, same thing happened when I was doing 808 coin and everything before that. I mean, it's just the cycle of things. It does suck, though. 404 is at 5 to 6 uh, sub Satoshis. It does not look like it's going to get any better. In fact, it's just probably going to get a lot worse because the trade volume is a real problem right now for 404. <clears throat> two by two coins is also not immune either. You can see it's also getting like uh, raped up the ass without its consent. So uh, it's at 62 to 67 for two by two coin, and it just continues. It's just red. It's just, you know, bad. <laughs> The only thing that's doing okay, funny enough, is Compound Coin because it already does so poorly. So that's 4,400 Satoshis of a dog coin upwards to like 5,100. Um, I don't know. It says some people bought up to 5,800 up here, but I, I don't really see any real trade volume for it. So, uh, but yeah. So uh, let's just see if there's anything happening right now. 
Uh, blow up AOC, good use crypto crack house suddenly revealed. Uh, yeah, I don't know. China shows why Bitcoin is poor by quarantining its banknotes. Yeah. Uh, Bitcoin price drop nets split Finex whale $10 million in five minutes. Uh, oh, so yeah, so someone made a lot of money uh, shorting uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin price bull run may last three years with 45k top, says Tony Vez. Uh, all right, I like that three years. I don't know why people still give this uh, retard any credit credence, and he says it's only going up to 45,000. Oh, God. And this is, see, this is the kind of fake news terrorist shit that makes it to the top of uh, Google News. But, like, you know, they'll actually censor all the conservatives and certain truth tellers. There was a site that actually had a critical review of Picard, and then I won't mention the name, and then some asshole from CNN with 1,000 followers complained to Google and they immediately banned it, right? And then replaced it with the CNN. It's like, it's clear antitrust violations, yet, like, our piece of shit satanic government doesn't do anything, right? You know, so um, it's, it's just ridiculous. All right, so we're actually going to read this because because uh, this would be a pretty big, potentially uh, huge fundamental. So we'll see. Uh, nothing, nothing. I don't know. This doesn't really look like uh, U.S. household debt hits record level. That doesn't matter. Is the Bitcoin the solution? Uh, yes, but not for the reasons that you think. And the reason why I say it doesn't matter, at least not anymore, is once you understand what money really is, fiat, crypto, Bitcoin, whatever, Right, you you realize it's all bullshit. It's all up in here, right? Four four coin, for example, is just worthless because nobody has a use for it, right? But it's all in their head. But I make a video game that's free to play, which is what I'm working on now, right? Uh, people like the game, and then they're like, you know what? I want more entertainment. So yeah, I'll get some four hundred four coins. So I can buy the unlocks for this game. In all case, it's all bullshit, right? It's it's all up in their head. It's all psychology. But that's what money is. Right? Even the term use case itself is bullshit. All right? Because, like, well, it's useful because I want something. All right? But why do you want something? Why do you have desire in the first place? <laughs> right? It, it's, it's all up in here. You know, value is just in your mind, right? If, pe if you have something that's very valuable, like, let's say, in my case, you know, giving investment advice, you know, people always complain, well, I want a million dollars. I don't want to do any work. Oh, okay. Well, I came, well, I came up with that, right? Mine, my 808 coin, and now I have these, you know, shitty proof of stake coins. Just buy, uh, you know, Litecoin or Bitcoin, and then just wait. Right? You're literally doing nothing except waiting. It's like, oh, that's too hard. I'm not going to do it. And most people don't do it. When I first went to the uh, Night for Freedom with Mike Cernovich, that his first event in New York City, when you know the stupid Antifa showed up and actually punched a guy, almost tried to kill him. Actually, um, what should I call it? I, uh, I bought the, like the really expensive VIP ticket for like a thousand dollars and like uh, I was telling people about it and then like a guy still wanted to argue with me in the room and it's like no you're wrong I'm like dude I literally made six figures from five hundred dollars I told him the same story I told you it's like like what's wrong with you and then he got kind of like upset or dejected and they just stopped interrupting me. And the other thing, too, that was annoying, he interrupted me. It's like, dude, can it, you just let me finish? So it's like, yeah, you know, people are so prideful, right? Oh, that's the other thing, too, right? You know, like Jesse says, you know, pride is, you know, of Satan. So we all have an ego, and the ego must die, you know, if you want to enter the kingdom of heaven. Corona cash quarantine virus comes to China attempt to sterilize fiat. That is just hilarious. Uh, I mean, if I want the clickbait, we could read it. But to be honest, I just want to keep this video short. Also, let's just get my Bit Hero thing here. Uh, yes. Uh, crypto strategies has forgot all kinds of stuff. The launch is ready to take flight, so that's worthless. Uh, so this all looks like crap. All right. So IBM and Food Safety Agency team up to trial blockchain on heels of Swedish meatball mix up. Hmm. Force and CDs. Uh, all right, so nothing here. All right, so let's see what this hell this is. Uh, the, uh, let's see, has had a rough week. Uh, so Steve Mnuchin warns a new Bitcoin crypto regular on their way. Um, okay, well, actually, we're all pushing for it. 
Minneapolis, dee 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 dee, Brandy Kerbal, garbage dumpster fire. Okay, so we have another stupid loser, the anti Bitcoiner, and they're probably going to call Bitcoin mixing a crime. Uh, I don't know about that. People are Kate are actually exaggerating this. Uh, which remains up to fifty percent of the has been okay. So, all right. So this is why I don't like Forbes anymore. They literally say in the headline bitcoin just takes a big blow due to crypto crackdown revealed and then they say right here in the next paragraph or a third paragraph however the news this same news has failed to move bitcoin's price which remains almost up blah 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 it's like pick one right this is why i don't like fake news terrorism this is literally at the top of fucking google news it's so, it's so annoying uh let's see so we have more idiots we want to make sure to take on the card but on the other hand we want to make sure that cryptos are used as quote old swiss secret number bank accounts well he's going to have a problem with that because uh the federal reserve chairman uh jerome powell who did a 180 right, i already did the bitcoin video on that over here uh he actually said well we want to use crypto but the problem is it's privacy concerns well you got to pick one either people have privacy or you know they don't right so you could track it right the us dollar has privacy that's why money laundering is a problem right but they still allow people to use the us dollar so i mean they're gonna have to pick one all right so minutian god i really hate and cannot stand that we don't have a better choice than to re-elect trump which means he'll re-elect all these globalist uh boomer asshole retards and i don't like that uh, but I mean, the alternative is to vote for Bernie and then like he'll put us all in gulags. Oh, and then he'll ruin the economy and then we're all just not going to make it. In fact, I would actually flee America. I would actually seriously flee America. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll have to sell my Florida home at that point. I mean, Bernie's not going to win, but I'll have to sell my home. That's like four or five years from now. I'll declare expatriate status. I may even consider giving up U.S. citizenship. Um and then, uh, I don't know, I guess I'll have to act as a sovereign or something. Um, and I don't know, I'll have to find, I don't know, what's a decent country? Like, uh, I can't do France, so I think I'll do uh, Portugal, right? You know, that would probably be pretty nice. I don't know, I don't want to live in Europe, though. Yeah, and I can't live in Puerto Rico because of hurricanes. And, um, you know, crime is actually a problem there, too. But you're not allowed to talk about it because it's considered racist against Hispanics or something like that. So, uh, yeah, like it, the, things would get really bad, but you know, that's four years from now. Cause that's when Trump has to leave the white house, right? Specifically January 20th, 2025. So we have between now and then for the corporate uprising, Nick Fuentes to do as much damage as he can to conservative Inc. And then hopefully, you know, uh, whatchamacallit, something will actually be done. Uh, the problem is the Republican party at least like 80 percent of it actually supports the censorship so i don't know man i don't know and of course uh the new right with the exception of course of, i mean i wouldn't even consider mike Cernovich new right anymore like your will chamberlain's your ali alexander's your jack basovics he didn't say shit about nick fuentes getting banned so yeah that's all you need to know uh all right anyway uh meanwhile add to the assault blah blah blah, blah. the reason that dollar is value uh yeah this isn't really uh has been bitcoin maximum money laundering uh dd okay as a money laundering business uh well okay so yeah this is wrong because we did the story on this yesterday or two days ago which one was it uh coin markets up uh launderer jail yeah so i did this video number 340 he was specifically working on the dark net all right because if we go to bitcoin mixer you can find plenty of them here all right because this is the reason why he was getting screwed up because he was working directly with dark net and drug dealers but here you have this one you have this one uh this is the one i saw in 340 right you know, you can do Bitcoin mixing here. You can, <laughs> it's like, don't you think, like, first of all, the FBI and the DOJ have the power to just seize the domain. How come they haven't seized it? They even said here, um, yeah, we have, we have full control of our infrastructure. We have never been compromised, suffered a data breach. We do not disclose any info on anyone, and we have not been forced to modify our system to allow data. Oh, as of today, 
we have not received any national security levers, we have not received any gag orders, we have not received any warrants whether from any government organization. All right, so, but I, f f all right, fuck for us. They're just fake news. All right, so it's just profit taking by rich people. Um, so, uh, what should I call it? Yeah, so there's actually nothing here. Also, I don't see Daily Hold mentioning it either. So it's just, it's, just, it's, just, it's just idiots that think they're experts. Unfortunately, they're borrowing from the Forbes brand name, spreading fake news, uh, terrorism to everybody. So now everyone thinks, oh, you can't do Bitcoin mixing. And the U.S. government doesn't mind either because they don't want people to be using cryptocurrency anyway to a certain degree. Right? They want people to start using you know, uh, U.S. dollars. So you know, they're not going to call out you know, uh, um, fake news. So anyway, if you like what you saw, right or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash uh, the Lemon Factor BTC. Uh, smash that subscribe on the right hand side of this page because uh, why not? Yeah, so I've noticed that my bit shoot channel is actually still growing, uh, even though I don't cover politics uh, anymore. Uh, oh yeah, so I guess thank you to like a bunch of people that subscribed on bit shoot still. Uh, yeah, I mean, it just goes to show that YouTube is just pure fucking hot garbage. Um, so, but I mean, I still have to kind of not seat the space. I mean, now that I had to delete a lot of my video, uh, political videos uh, in the recent months, you know, I have to probably re-explain a bunch of stuff. But yeah, I don't want to seat the space to, you know, stupid Google. So for now, we'll uh, just have to, you know, stick around here. Plus, you know, at least once I have my game out, you know, we'll be able to push, throw some weight around. But of course, that also means deplatforming risk is going to be um, pretty high with my game. Um, mostly because, yes, you know, it's going to definitely have a right wing uh, bed to it. And then, of course, they're going to come in and try to attack it. It'll still be pretty clean. Uh, but uh, whatchamacallit, you know, uh, how do I want to put it? Also, I'm thinking about Chinese food, so I think I'm going to get Chinese food today. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, we'll just have to see. Like, I'm going to have to be pretty careful. I mean, I'm honestly not going to go anything crazy, right? We're not going to talk about, you know, say, homosexuality or, you know, certain uh, certain story hours. We're going to keep it pretty basic, right? Uh, but that also have, like, hints. It's like... Hey, you know, I know you, because like in my universe, right, you know, I, you know, my character, right, the guy that's leading the rebellion, you know, he, he's a bad man, right? He, he massacred basically all the liberals or something, so they don't exist anymore in this universe. And the conservatives are like, yeah, this is great. I'm like, no, that's horrible, right? You know, we're, you know, probably a special place in hell for me if it weren't for me that I'm immortal for some reason. Right. I'm not gonna give too away too much of the story, and then and then and then like I'll have some safe stuff that is like yeah, but social kind is the worst thing. It's like no, you it, no, it's like that's what you believe. That's what you're led to believe. That's the empire in you talking. All right, no, there's something much worse. Right, so I have to try to learn to ride the line, so that like you know at least the globals will be like. Well, you know, he's, you know, he likes Nick Fuentes, he's retweeting him, but I mean, he does also say the correct things, right, you know, because Nick Fuentes, when he was explaining his ban yesterday or two days ago, I actually watched the InfoWars Owen Schroyer segment, uh, he actually said that uh, conservative Inc. or Republicans are willing to talk with the left because the left does not encroach on the Republican Party's turf. Just like the Republicans do not encroach on the left wing uh, Democrat Party's left wing turf, right? You know they have because like you have all the crazies on the left side, right? Democrat Party you know owns them, so they can get the free money and fame and you know blah 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 and bullshit. The Republicans have their you know turf, which is you know neocons, the war, the military industrial complex, uh, funneling money and support to certain foreign countries, particularly in the Middle East, that cannot be criticized. And then they're all in it together to, you know, censor everybody. So, uh, and then and then Nick actually explained that this has been going on for 50, 60 years, basically since World War II. Now, I actually have realized and know why this is all happening since World War II. But, of course, I don't want to get this channel banned. So, but yeah, there's a, that certain group of people that cannot be criticized. They all got together after World War II. Uh, probably because they got fucked over by World War II and they're like, this will never happen again. We're going to take over everything to make sure we can ensure our survival. 
and now they turn they they turn it into something extremely sa evil and satanic and now and now uh god uh will be returning uh his i don't want to call it god, god's wrath but now god realizes this is evil right so let's uh let me let me have some people uh you know rise up against uh satan right so that's where we're at now and i have to figure out uh how i can kind of support that you know i still call it god's wrath but you know technically we're not supposed to be angry and judgmental so i won't be judgmental or angry but we do have to purge this evil so i have to figure out how to purge the evil without losing my soul and also not getting deplatformed and it's going to be tough uh because even nick fuentes said not all of you have to be like me and then just basically become a pariah right i'm willing to take the hits you know we need people you know in various industries you know especially underground you know you know ready to <laughs> ready to strike at conservative ink and beyond so you know i guess that'll be i guess that's god's uh god's plan for me right i mean he hasn't interfered with my ability to do computer programming in fact uh you know one of my biggest I don't want to say biggest fears or definitely a concern that I had, like, is bugs. So far, like, it's like, oh, yeah, this bug is really easy. It's like, you know, because I get that reaction and I immediately squash it and then I go, oh, okay, yeah, this was really easy to fix. It took, like, three seconds. It's like, okay, just stay calm, think about logically, all right? It also helps that I'm actually following literally a course, so it tells me exactly what's supposed to do. So, like, oh, okay, I can... Uh, you know, put two and two, or in this case, five and 15 together, right? You know, because, you know, it's a little more complicated when you're doing computer code. And yeah, after watching Forsen, because I was watching Forsen before I started this video, he actually, uh, set, he was actually playing some game called Dreams that apparently makes you, is a video game maker, right, for PS4. He actually said that programming is video game scripting. And that's exactly what it is. I just tell, I just have a bunch of code that just tells it to, you know, go left or right or take damage. And that's it. Most of the ga like programming games is actually not as hard as I thought, because uh, most of it is actually just scripting, you know. So which is programming, uh, but it's a lot easier and simpler than I make it out to be. All right, I'm not trying to code like the Windows 10 operating software. Now that is really hardcore programming. Anyway, I'm done rambling for today. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day or night. I'm probably going to get Chinese food. Uh, I don't know. I'll think of something. And, uh, you know, see you all in tomorrow's video. Uh, thanks. Unfortunately, though, it does look like, you know, price is going to continue to tank. So we'll see. But, you know, continue mining, continue holding. Uh, definitely avoid gambling. And then uh, we'll see how bad uh, this, uh, this thing goes, right? You know? So, uh, I don't know. I guess the rich have decided, hey, we just want some uh, money. Um, yeah, because they literally do not want cryptocurrency. They're literally leaving the entire market. It's a, and it's across the board. So, and there does not appear to be any real fundamental reason for it either. So, hopefully, that's a good sign. All right, it just means yeah, let's just take some profits. So, yeah, uh, we'll see. Uh, maybe between now and tomorrow it'll recover. If not, you know, it's uh, let me see. Yeah, Bitcoin hasn't really gone down that much actually. So, yeah, this might just simply be a uh, yeah, this just might actually be a typical profit taking. So uh, we'll find out. Anyway, uh, see you all tomorrow. Thanks. Judson Chad, JFC Coin, 404 Coin, and yeah. Oh yeah, we need a thumbnail, don't we? Uh, I kind of like this one. That one's okay. Uh, I don't care about that. Uh... I don't know. We have nothing to do with the coronavirus, but you know, I just find it, I just find this thing so funny. So we'll we'll use this one.